what's up my ms family how are you guys doing today now today's video is solely um about my uh ms um you know i am doing uh well uh as far as my surgery uh, still no changes um still a little discomfort um when it comes to uh sitting too long but all in all i have been doing great still don't regret it um going to the bathroom is fine um so you know everything is good there now i went to uh my ms um my neurologist today and he said that he didn't see any changes you know as far as um you know any new lesions on my brain or my spine um he said which is good i'm on ocrevus uh which he says is one of the top meds out there um he said that the lesion on my spine could be the cause of a lot of my uh back pain and um and could be um related to the issues i'm having with my kidneys i won't know that until the ninth when i go to the specialist um i am still you know as far as my symptoms with ms um i still get lightheaded and dizzy um i still have a lot of um cognitive issues um um coordination issues um, memory issues um i still get the numbness in it was on my right side now it's on my left as well um when i initially got diagnosed with ms um it started out with a numbness in my left leg it was in my right but then it came back almost immediately when i got up so i thought that it was an issue with wearing underwear that was too tight that may have cut off the circulation um but turned out that was not the case um because i did not get the feeling back and that numbness that started in my leg ended up being a numbness that went from half of my body uh, straight up and down all the way down to my toes on the left side um, and although the feeling came back I still get the numbness you know in my feet and my legs um, I have headaches uh, issues with uh, digestion uh, bowel bladder um, I mean the list just goes on and on um, some people do very well when it comes to MS as for me you know it seems to be you know um, a daily thing that I'm having some some kind of issue or another stop biting your foot stop um, got my dog with me because she just has to be with me everywhere um, what else um he said my neurologist said that depending on what the urologist says will all depend on what it is that i need what he needs to do as far as whether changing the medication or adding something uh to it uh because he said um he went over some other options and i should have recorded it because you know my memory is not that great when it comes to certain things uh, but I know he said there are some other medicines that he could try. One, I know he said it would be like a total of either four doses for one year and maybe one dose in, uh, in the next year. And But I would have to give a urine sample every month for two years because there's the risk of thyroid issues, uh, kidney issues and a whole bunch of other problems that could come from it and you know it def and he said my immune system would be completely down you know for that whole duration of months that I would be taking you know these uh that new med uh he also suggested something that is something they could do every month um it's a, a infusion uh but it includes um antibodies of of actual people and um 
he seems to think that that would be something that could combat all these infections I'm having. You know, of course, I don't know if, you know, that would be the case or not because that's something that I haven't decided on yet. Um, and I won't make any decisions until I go see the urologist on the 9th. Uh, now, as far as my issues now, I'm still having the lower abdominal uh, pains, the lower back pains. And the other thing, if I didn't mention before, was that um, I get a burning. I never had a burning sensation uh, with any type of UTI before. You know, uh, this is something new. I also get it if I'm sitting too long, if I'm sitting a certain way, uh, I get a, a, a burning sensation that's real uncomfortable. Um, and it kind of like it's in that urinary tract, like right where the urine is coming out. You know, I don't know all the terminology and stuff, but you know, I'm getting that burning feeling and, um, and, and it's quite uncomfortable. Um, my uh, uro uh, neurologist today, he decided to put me back on Gabit, uh, Gabitin. I know that's not um, not right, but uh, some of you know what I'm talking about. And he said to take uh, a half a tab to one tab twice a day, and maybe that will combat some of the pain because some of the pain could be stemming from the lesion that's in my back um and he said that there weren't any changes with the lesions on my brain um i asked him how many i had and um he uh he's gonna have to go back over that with me uh because i never asked him that before but you know it's like 12 plus lesions that on my brain he was saying but he didn't remember the exact number uh he's not one of the neurologists that loves like to tell you you know there are stages or phases when it comes to um ms you have it or you don't and you go through these things or you don't go through these things is his philosophy but um, right now, I don't see a need to change him as a doctor, but there's other doctors that I am in the process of changing because, you know, they're not taking me serious when it comes to, you know, the issues with my kidney, kidneys, I should say, because I have issues on both sides. And then also, um, my primary care physician is working with me to try to get approval for my cardiologist to do some tests that he needs to do so you know I don't have private insurance anymore so everything is kind of a hassle to get done and I'm really not used to that but you know what can I do because I'm not able to work right now um what else oh I am so sorry I think y'all can hear this music um in the background um So I apologize for that. So hopefully it was not too loud. I just realized that that was playing. Um, so right now, my main concern at this point is going to be my kidneys. What's going on there? Why am I having the pains and this discomfort? Um, this has been an issue that's been going on since January. No resolution has been found as of yet. Um, as far as my heart goes, um, you know, I do have a lot of shortness of breath. Uh, if I bend down and pick something up, you know, I'm breathing real heavy. It's a problem. And um, I know a lot of people, a lot of doctors and everything like to say, well, oh, you know, that's because you're overweight, which is not so because I have been overweight for practically my whole life, literally. And I have been one of those people, I could run, I could jump, I was jumping rope, double dutch, running everything with my kids with no problems. You know, I could bend over, pick stuff up, no problem. 
you know i could walk in walmart no problem uh no um at no point would i be out of breath i could go upstairs and i wouldn't be out of breath like i am now so it definitely has nothing to do with me being overweight and i'm not gonna let them put that on that because um that is not you know why um i am the way i am now uh i the heart issues um they said it's a diastolic dysfunction level two um which i can only assume it's still that because again my insurance is not approving the things that my cardiologist wants to do the insurance didn't approve the physical therapy that my neurologist wanted to do so i couldn't go through that so which really makes no sense because if the goal is to try and rehabilitate, uh, rehabilitate me, then why would you not want me to go through that process to see if maybe I could get back to work? But anywho, you know, I guess it makes a whole lot of sense to them. And as I always say, there is no money in cure. Uh, so anytime they can keep you on meds or whatever, you know, that's where they're loyalty lies that's where their money lies uh, because that's what fattens their wallets their purses whatever they have um you know in today's technology um it's hard to believe that a lot of these illnesses and diseases they have not found a cure yet and i've always said and i will continue to say there are cures for a lot of this stuff that's going on but because there is no money in cure they're not going to say that there's a cure for certain things like you know um you know cancer is a big thing leukemia um a lot of uh, um, uh, lupus um ms uh you know parkinson's disease a lot of these things and you know it's always you know we're we're doing the research we're um uh, we're making um headway on this or you know we're getting progress on that uh we're real close on this but no one has said oh we've had a cure uh like that you know i'm 44 and i can promise you in 44 more years plus they will never be any closer than they are to any cure to any of these um, sicknesses, illnesses, diseases, whatever you want to call them. Because, again, it's all about the dollar. Um, you know, um, all I can do at this point is just wait on test results because that's what I'm waiting on now. Um you know so as far as my life is concerned you know of course heat is an issue um i definitely can't get overheated um exercising i tried that it's a problem because if i get overheated i get sick i've even tried chair aerobics can't do it um i get out of breath real easy um you know picking up things is hard opening things is hard um a lot of times um just thinking of things you know can be hard um you know to remember um sometimes i know what i want to say but it doesn't come out the way that i want it to um you know i do lose my train of thought a lot so you know if you see these videos and i'm skipping from here to there here to there that's because i probably lost what i was saying and i have just added some fillers in <laughs> to try to make it uh seem a little seamless but again um i have some procedures coming up next week so i will update you guys again as to what's going on with me and this ms process so until then i will speak with you guys soon i hope you have a great day great evening or good night bye